you're gonna have to unmute us. Oh. <laughs> there we go. It helps if you unmute you the have to talk it out, Merely. <laughs> okay. It is six o'clock, and we are going to call to order the Washington County Nominating Commission public hearing meeting. Um, I'm Mary Lee Kearns, and I'm the chair of the Nominating Commission appointed by the Board of Elections. And our first call to order is going to be approval of our minutes from our Monday evening meeting, and then we'll do introduction of the members for those listening and watching. All right. I did have changes to um, the regular minute meetings. Uh, member Shelley McIntyre caught, corrected me. I, I forgot to recognize her as city councilwoman, and I also forgot to recognize uh, Mike Gesford as sitting board of education member. Did anybody else find mistakes in my minutes to correct for Monday, no. October 26th at 6 p.m.? I move to approve the minutes of uh, October 26, 2020 at 6 p.m. Second. With corrections. With corrections. Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. And then we have the closed session for Monday, October 26. Nobody emailed me corrections on those, but if there are any, let me know. I move to approve the minutes from the closed session for Monday, October 26 at 6.13 p.m. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. We're to business. We will now do introduction of commission members, and I will start on my left with the bandit. Uh, I'm Brian Albert, and uh, I was selected by the Board of County Commissioners off of a list submitted from the Board of Education from the Citizen Advisory Committee that I served on. My name is uh, Dr. Jim Clauber. I'm president of Hagerstown Community College, and I was selected to uh, represent uh, the business community by the county commission, probably through virtue of my service on the board of the Gr Washington County Chamber of Commerce. My name is Marsha Flowers. I'm a fifth grade teacher at Hancock Elementary School and from the teaching world is why I was appointed. My name is Mary Lee Kearns and I was appointed by the county commissioners to share the nominating commission. And I am a council person in the town of Boonesboro. Good evening, I'm delegate Dr. Brenda Cham and I was selected by our state delegates. Good evening, I'm Mike Gesford. I am the uh, Board of Education appointee. Thank you for joining us. I'm Councilwoman Shelley McIntyre appointed by the senators to represent. And before we move into public comments, I will read um, public comment that was received by the chair. Um, after much deliberation, I respectfully withdraw my name from consideration to fill the Board of Ed position. And this is from applicant April Bentmeyer. I appreciate the opportunity to apply and your patience as I work through the process. However, it feels counterproductive to apply for the position while actively campaigning. Again, thanks for the opportunity. So that does um, have a withdrawal as April Zentmeyer from consideration at this point. So. All right, I am not exactly sure what order people signed up for public um, hearing, but I'm going to just kind of work you in the way that you're in my Zoom list. So the first per participant I am going to recognize to speak would be Bernadette Wagner. And let give me a second to successfully unmute you. And you will have three minutes to give public comment. And if you will kindly state your name and maybe just the city where you live. It's Bernadette Wagner there. Can she hear me? Did I unmute she's you? Still muted. She's, she's still muted. Right. I think I unmute you and then you have to unmute you on your end. There, you go. there we got it. Go. We got okay. it. Okay. Good, good evening. My name is Bernadette Wagner. I live in uh, Washington County in the North End. I served on the elected Board of Education from 2000 to 2008. Uh, I am uh, appreciative of this commission's effort to uh, work to, with our citizenry to uh, fill this vacancy that was vacated uh, by Jackie Fisher. Um, my my uh, viewpoint and the reason I wanted to speak is I think that given normal times when we're not in the middle of an election where there are people running for office, uh, I think this commission would be so, um, so important. But I feel like because there is an election in process, and there are four vacancies and seven people running. 
I feel like it would make sense for the citizens to have the right to pit those who represent them. So it is my uh, suggestion, my request, that this commission fill the vacancy with the, fifth, the person who receives, uh, the person who re comes in fifth um, uh, as a way of filling that vacancy. Is that everything, your God? We really, really appreciate your comments. Anything else you'd like to add? Nope, thank you. Okay, all right. I don't know if that was her end or mine to turn it up. It was a little, um, so I, the next person is Tom Borum. Not sure how this that doesn't is. work. Oh. <laughs> is Tom Borum there and does he wish to speak? I'm not sure if he signed up to speak or if he just wants to uh, listen. Oh, yeah, I signed up this. to speak. Can you hear me? We yes. can now. Yes, we're working on the sound and that made it okay. a little louder here. I, uh, I, I'm from Hagerstown. I'm uh, the custodial grandfather of a student in the Washington County School. So uh, this is important to me. Uh, I have a question though. Is this commission, the nominating commission going to be the commission that makes a decision on who fills the vacancy or who does that? You want me to answer? We recommend a list of names to the county commissioners and the county commissioners then appoint. Okay, so you already have a list, don't you? We have a list of applicants. Okay, so you may not recommend them all? That is correct. Okay, all right, I'd like to uh, recommend John Krauka to fill the vacancy. He's previously shown an interest in uh, being on the board and his scientific background will surely be an asset uh, to the community in dealing with the pandemic in the county schools. And that's all I have to say. Okay, we thank you very much for giving input and listening to our meeting and please stay on and listen to the rest and I will go to the next person on the list. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Dory Nips, who is an applicant. Oh my gosh, I'm muted or not. Dory, I'm not sure if you want to speak. I think I unmuted you on my end, but I'm you. I'm just here to listen. Go. Okay, to just listen. to listen. Okay. okay, thank you for listening. Uh -huh. All right. Then I have a David Williams. Just here to listen. Just here to listen. Okay, thank you. Next up is Ginger Bigelow. I'm trying to unmute. It's a little slow or it doesn't like my fingers. Ginger Bigelow is next on the list. Okay. You might have I've... to unmute on your end. You got it? Okay. Yep. Can you see me or? Uh, we can hear you. Oh, dear. Okay. Well, I That's don't know okay. what I where well, you can't see me. Okay. Okay, then. Um, I would like to encourage the committee. First of all, it's Ginger Bigelow. I'm sorry, and I'm from Boonesboro. I would like to encourage the committee to please appoint a person that has conservative views and values. Washington County citizens have been represented, have not been represented well by many on the school board. Many Washington County citizens feel strongly about government overreach, including in our school system. Many teachers are very liberal and exercising their personal beliefs on our students. We need a strong school board that represents the citizens of Washington County, not the liberal mindset of the teacher union. Whoever you appoint hopefully will remember that they represent the tax paying citizens of Washington County and they are capable of thinking of that when they take votes and determine policy that affects our parents, students and teachers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, I might need um... Brenda's charm. How do you think we scroll this up to get to the rest of the participants? Because I know there's 15 and I don't have them all. I know it doesn't like Let's my scroll. fingers. I tried more. All participants, disabled persons, and shaw. Like I feel like there ought to be a way to see the top of the. Will they scroll down? Uh -oh. Okay, there I got a new. Got oh, we got more here. people that need admitted. Oh, my. Oh, my. They've probably been a whole bunch. Yeah. Yeah. 
I can do late. Um, yeah. We apologize because there's more people that needed admitted that we're trying to figure out how to make this work. Now, I didn't wonder why that didn't show up before. Is it repopulating whenever? Okay, let's try this. Well, you're going to get to a point where it fills up. Yeah. Oh. Where did the person I just did go? Oh, some maybe. This, I it's this gentleman. Okay, I had a Dustin short. I'm not sure if he wants to speak or not speak. We've got to love Zoom technology here, people. Oh, my goodness. Okay. What did Ginger? I have no idea who that was. Okay. They're not, they don't have a microphone. How about Tom Bourne? I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Try to unmute Tom Borum. Maybe you try on your end too. He already spoke. He's Tom, Tom already spoke. I'm sorry, my I fault. Spoke, the list but I want to just say, Oh, okay. Go ahead. Stick to the science. That's what the people of Washington <laughs> County care about. We okay. don't need to have an outbreak of COVID in the schools to spread through the community. We've been very lucky so far in the dark fall is here upon us now. Okay, sorry, I thought maybe you were gonna tell me to stick to the technology, which I'm cha <laughs> finding challenging tonight. Okay. Well, thanks. Okay. Oops. All right, now, how do I get to the rest of these people? Here we go, we've done all those. Oh, Linda's still waiting, she must've got kicked out. Any of the ones that are on the screen? Let's try him. Who else do we have that's asked to speak? Um, Charles Barr and Jerry Wahlberg, which I don't even see them on here yet. It's just, it doesn't like my fingers. What about that Jerry Wahlberg you got over there? Can you find him? Can you use your end of your pencil? Let me try that. I'm trying to unmute John League to speak if he's wanting to. There he is. We can see him. We can oh, there he is. He's on. We have to both do it. It's the trick. <laughs> Okay. Yes, I just, uh, I think both of us want to say a few words on behalf of Dory Nips. I've known okay. Dory. Um, I used to work at the Herald Mail. I've known Dory for 20 years, uh, 25 years, perhaps back when she was first involved with the school board as a school board member, as the county commissioner. Um, unquestionable integrity, cares about the kids, will do the right thing, and would be a great addition to your board. Plus, she has experience. So, she won't need any training wheels. And my okay. wife has some, my wife has worked with Dory too on the Maryland Symphony Board. So I'll let her talk to that. Uh, my name's April Dowler. I've known uh, Dory a number of years as well. I have a story about her in her capacity on the Board of Education. I was on the CAC at Williamsport Elementary School and we had uh, overcrowding in um, sort of a bubble. There were certain classes that were overcrowded and we had the right component of teachers. However, the way our principal chose to use them, he had a reading, one of them as a reading specialist. Um, Dory was the school board member who came to our school and met with the CAC to discuss this problem. And the problem was then solved. And so I, uh, I think the world of her, I agree with what John said about her integrity. She's a very hard worker and she would definitely be an asset to the board. Thank you very much. Thank you all for participating. Sorry, we're having some technology challenge, but glad we got it to work. And thank you for commenting. Well, you look very well on this end, so. Okay, <laughs> well, at least we look good. If we can't get the, the sound to work, we look good. Got a good filter on it. <laughs> yeah, he's commenting on the Ravens. All right, Dave Williams, I'm going to guess. He, he was just in for just a watch. Oh, he's yeah, trying to he watch. Knows. Okay, how do you guys know this and I don't? He said it. Yeah. Okay, he said it already went there. Okay. Come on over there. Okay. Over there. <laughs> Thank you. You need to do this. Um, we got the timer. Yeah. Jake Krubitz. 
Who? Joe Kravitz. He's been on for a while waiting. Okay. Well, I maybe that's this one. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Joe Krobutz. Joe, can you on? There you go. There we go. We got it. Joe Krobutz. All right. Good evening. Okay. Good evening, Madam Chair and Commission members. Um, for the record, my name is Joe Krobuth. I live in Hagerstown, Maryland. Okay. I first would like to thank the Commission for conducting this public hearing and seeking input on the selection process to fill the vacant position on the Washington County Board of Education. Um, I'd like to thank you and all the members of the Commission for your service to the community on this uh, very important uh, assignment that you've been given. Uh, I am also asking the Commission to favorably consider the application for Mrs. Doris Nips as a recommended candidate to fill the vacant seat. Uh, Mrs. Nips has served Washington County in several leadership roles over the past three decades. Uh, as it was mentioned previously, she has prior experience uh, serving on the Board of Education uh, from 1994 through 2002. Uh, and there she worked to solve many problems that the board faced and truly advanced the quality of education uh, by working with her fellow board members. Uh, following her tenure with the school board, she served as a county commissioner from 2002 to 2006. And as a commissioner, like as a board member, uh, she continued uh, to protect the interests of Washington County Public School System and she led her county through uh, tremendous progressive growth during that time uh, in her tenure there on the county commissioner board. Uh, in addition to her leadership roles in local government, she's also brought her management talents to several nonprofit organizations in the community. Uh, her nonprofit service includes Habitat for Humanity, uh, the Symphony Board, the Antietam Healthcare Foundation. Uh, the Washington County Commission for Women, uh, the Humane Society for Washington County, and uh, the Penmore Development Corporation, where she served as the executive director until the corporation dissolved their charter at the request of the county commissioners. I think Ms. Nips has a proven track record uh, of collaboration and cooperation while serving the community. And uh, she truly defines- Second above self. Uh, and that's um, proven by her local government's experience as well as her nonprofit experience. So I cannot think of a single candidate who is better prepared to fill this vacant position and, and ask that you consider uh, advancing her name to the decision makers uh, that will ultimately select uh, the successful candidate. So again, thank you uh, for this public uh, opportunity to, uh, to offer this comment. It's truly appreciated. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm sorry I'm a little technically challenged, but we're working on it. And thank you for participating and bearing with us. All right. John. Next. All right, John <clears throat> Proka, who is an applicant, is next. All right, John Proka. <clears throat> Think we're ready. Uh, okay. Uh, yes, I'm. I'm ready. Uh, uh, thank you uh, very much uh, for everybody uh, attending and involved here tonight. I have a question uh, for the selection committee. First of all, uh, what are the criteria that you are going to be using for? Uh, selecting a candidate? Are there objective criteria or uh, is this just personal preference? And secondly, I would like uh, to uh, urge all to uh, vote for me uh, for the uh, Board of Education vacancy. I have uh, 20 years experience in uh, in uh, Washington County here. I got 16,000 votes uh, in 2018. And I have uh, some great ideas to make our schools better. 
Uh, currently, we're only ranked uh, 13th out of 24 Maryland school districts. And uh, we are the third worst in Washington County for a, a preparedness for college. Over 58% of Washington high school students entering Maryland colleges and universities need remedial education. The third worst. Uh, we need some progressive ideas, and uh, I uh, am in favor of smart school spending, preparing students for jobs, community engagement, and different strokes for different folks. Uh, one uh, size does not fit all in, in education. I have a lot of community involvement, particularly related to education and workforce development. I am on the board of directors of Horizon Goodwill. I am also on the uh, board of directors of uh, On Track Washington uh, County, the uh, on the board of the Education uh, Foundation of the Washington County Public Schools. And I've applied to be a member of the board of directors of uh, the Robert Johnson uh, Community Center. In fact, I'll be there tomorrow giving out free food uh, at, from about noon to 1.30 tomorrow. So if you know anybody who needs free food, uh, please have them come down. I urge you to vote for me and I appreciate seconds. your consideration. Thank you. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you That's very it. much for your comments tonight. All right. Who's next on my list? Linda doesn't want to talk, you guys then? Can I ask her? Find her. Was somebody waiting to get in? Did you see that? I got that and I caught on. Linda Murray, did you wish to comment or you're just observing? No, no, I do wish to comment. Thank okay. you, Marilyn. You're up. I appreciate it. I'll just keep it brief. Okay. What I wanted to say was I'm speaking on behalf of Dr. April Zentmeyer. Okay. I believe Dr. Zentmeyer um, knows, has much knowledge of the <laughs> Washington County Public Schools being uh, a yeah. teacher for many years and an uh, administrator. And I also believe that she should get special a special um, nod, so to speak, because she is the only person out of these four that actually put her name on the line at the very beginning. She declared her candidacy and she has run a good race trying to get elected by the uh, by the people who vote, and I think that should speak loudly for her commitment to the job. So that's that's basically all I wanted to say. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you so much. I think my next person might be um, Mr. Weaver, Russ Weaver. Do I have you unmuted? Maybe you have to unmute on your end. Really, I had to mute on on this end of things. So. Good. Can you hear I'm me now? You're as technically challenged as I am. Yes, sir, Mr. Weaver, go ahead. Since you're a former student of mine, I taught you well. Yes, uh, yes. <laughs> okay, just a couple comments. I, I, I'm going to speak from the perspective of uh, what I would be looking for. If I was on the committee, I echo Dave McMillan's um, sentiments and thanking you guys for signing up to what's a very important task. Uh, the first thing I'd like to do, I, what I would be looking for is someone who's going to press hard to get kids back in school. Uh, the damage has been done. I would ask you to look at the, as, make sure the person is willing to look at real life experiences and the research that shows that classrooms are not a major source of transmission. I refer you to an article in the Wall Street Journal today about Massachusetts schools, especially par parochial schools, where 28,000 kids and 4,000 employees have been in school since August with only a few uh, minor incident cases of, of, the, of the COVID flu and I are the COVID-19 and I think this is true and I'm, I'm not sure how St. Marie is doing but I think we should press hard to get kids back to school. Along with that, I think the person should have some good ideas about how to repair the damage that's been done. 
I think students' education has been seriously impacted since March, and I think we need to really take a look at it. I don't know when tests start to come out, but I'm pretty sure we've done significant damage to the kids. In the area of curriculum, I would want to ask the candidate how they feel about civics and the return to civics and the teaching of Western culture, philosophy, and critical thinking. I think it's seriously missing today, and I think we should focus on having people at the school board who are more than, than just looking and shaking their head at whatever the board says, and also it's a job much broader than just budgets. Um, I'd like to say I'd compliment John on his comments. One of the serious things I have always been concerned with in education is how do you measure your effectiveness? Uh, the person I would select would have to be totally focused on kids. All the goals would have to be around children, their education, how that experience would lead them to be productive adults, how it would lead them to be good citizens who can live up to the values and, and um, uh, the values and ideals that has made this country what it is. The last one is a minor issue compared to the first three that I just listed, but it's a sore spot in the town of Sharpsburg where I live, Boonsboro, and so on, and that's the changing of mascot. 30 seconds left. Okay, it's just very quick, changing of mascot names. Uh, fundamentally against it, there's no appropriations whatsoever for someone be calling, call, being called a warrior. I'm proud to associate myself with that name. Uh, thank you for your time. Thank you very much for speaking. Okay, then I have someone, their phone number ends in 740, but I do not know a name, so I'm trying to unmute you if you wish to um, listen. Speak. Speak. Sorry. You can listen, but. And I, I apologize, I don't have names for everybody in the meeting. You would have to unmute from your end if you would wish to speak. Somebody with the phone number ending in 740. I'll move to the next person. They have a phone number ending in 682 if you wish to speak. You have to unmute on your end, I think. I don't have video for those. They're just listeners. I right, can hear you now if you wish to speak. If you just give us your name and um, city you live in. Hello, my name is Jerry Wahlberg. I live in Smithsburg, Maryland. Um, I'd, I'd like to say that uh, I am disappointed in the current board not uh, representing our uh, conservative views uh, in the county. I'm a father of two, two, one on the, uh, has level two autism, one is in the magnet program at uh, Williamsport. So I know the struggles of the kids of what they're going through. We need to get somebody in there that is going to be kids First, I would like to repeat kids first um, and get them back in school. Uh, I, unfortunately, I was going to throw my hat in the ring for this position, but it happened pretty quick and I was unable to apply. Uh, so who I will support whomever the <clears throat> decision makers are and the person that they uh, appoint. But I do believe uh, they should respect conservative values and get the kids back in school ASAP. That's all I have to say. Thank you very much, Mr. Wahlberg. We're glad you're participating and thank you for your comments. All right. Okay. I think I've addressed everybody's. Brenda's watching, okay. helping me with the technology. Um, don't have, I had a Charles Barr signed up, but I do not see them. In my list of wait, so I'm going to check it one more time. This is the only one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the one that this one might not be. This might, this isn't Mr. Barr, is it? You're going to have to unmute on your end. I do have a listener without a name that I've unmuted, but you have to unmute on your end if you wish to speak. Last call. <laughs> okay. All right, at this point, we will close then the public comment portion of the meeting. I do have one written comment that was received or emailed comment um, to read publicly for the meeting. Um, it is from a Jane Powell. 
Um, in 2018, Mr. Kroka ran for the Washington County Board of Education. He did this because he cares about our county's children and about education. As you are likely aware, he brings sufficient measurable experience in the Washington County schools. In his run, Mr. Kroka received approximately 16,000 votes, proving that the Washington County voters also believe he is a qualified for the task of Board of Education. As I'm sure you're <laughs> acutely aware, we are in the midst of exceedingly trying times in so many facets of our lives, especially with the respect to COVID. More than anything, this calls for someone who cares, who cares about students and teachers, who knows the Washington County Schools, who is committed to making a positive difference, and who is well qualified to do the job in normal circumstances. That person without question is John Kroka. Um, and at that point in time, there is no other comments that I'm aware of, and I haven't seen anyone else roll into our meeting. Um, I will ask the board members if anyone has comments that they'd like to make tonight to respond to anyone. No comments. Yes. Just a thank you to those that uh, contributed to this public comment session. Um, it's much appreciated. Just thank you very much for your interest and concern for this selection. And I will echo the same as chairman. We appreciate hearing citizen comment. We are trying to do it as openly and above board as possible during COVID. We really wish you all could be in the room talking to us, but unfortunately that is not the circumstances we have right now. Um, the committee will be, met, will be interviewing the applicants in the next couple of days. And we plan to meet again on Wednesday, November the 4th at 3 p.m. Um, to finish defining the process and, and hopefully have name or names to submit to the county commissioners. So do I have a motion to adjourn? I move to adjourn. I second. A vote. Thank you all and good night. <laughs>